Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Mobile of Alternative. What? This is different. This is very different. Oh, you're supposed to yank it off with reckless abandon. This feels more like reverse tucking me in. Damn yeah, it, now I'm way too antsy to fall back asleep. Still though, the, ba the blanket pole is a pretty high level technique for a beginner's attempt. I'm impressed. You've leveled up. Good luck. Good work. Morning. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh. Today's the 11th. Hey, uh, so, um, there might be an alarm today, so don't worry too much about it, alright? Okay? Hi. Cool, see ya. Ara, ohayo. Morning, where's everyone? So, Mitsurugi wa ima, shokuji tori ni ikkeru kedo? Ah, so she is. Think there's all uh, still asleep? Well, what are you gonna do today? Ah, no, because I'm gonna be uh, stop dropping rolling because because of an alarm. Just curious. Morning, Maya. Oh, whoops, yeah, I'll go grab some real quick. If I'm right and it really does happen today, then they'll call the emergency summons that just past 8 30. As terrible as it is to say this, I'm actually hoping for this disaster to take place. It needs to happen, unfortunately, for the good of all mankind. Hiro Sensei's really been testing my moral compass lately, but at the end of the day, I think she's definitely right about this one. If I'm going to save the entire human race, I've got to learn to stop getting so emotional. I think it just hurts because I can't be as pragmatic about it as Yuko Sensei is. I've been witness to the end of mankind as, as we know it. And I can't bear to live through that again. I'd do literally anything to prevent it. At least that's what I'd like to think. Or maybe my conviction wasn't as rock solid as I thought it was. Okay, I'm back. No, why? Hmm? あら、What's this about? What's she got in her hand? Huh. Well. Man, that's gotta hurt. That face plan was like worthy of an award or something. What's wrong? The, the cat's credo? Odo? Dude, come on. Uh, you're what? Wait, can't you just make it again? That's all starting to come back to me. I'm pretty sure I slept in this day since it was a day off and then I ran into Yugo Sensei and Kasumi up here. Last Rev and the others were long gone by then, so I guess this was what they were doing. 
Would I have been able to actually see the so-called dancing butterfly if it hadn't been for the emergency summons? Wait a second, are you seriously crying about this? There's a god, I seriously hope he isn't wasting his time on trivial crap like this. You probably could have done it again if you'd had your eyes open the first time. Nah, I'm pretty sure it is. One of them was probably being sarcastic if I had to guess. Hmm? Alright. 8.30. If I slept in like last time, everyone would have probably left the PX by now. I'm changing little things like this every single day. That being said, is the alarm zone going to go off or not? What are you going to do today, Maya? But what's that look for? Damn, training on her day off? What a trooper. No, it's just... The clock is, uh... Curse? Huh? Oh, uh, no, no, not really. I was just thinking, like, boy, time sure flies on her days off, you know. That is true. Oh, please, giving your muscles some time to recuperate is a totally valid part of any training regime. Regimen. That is true. That, that's very true. Huh? Oh, right, sure, let's do that. I guess it doesn't matter what I do right now. I mean, the alarm hasn't gone off yet, so... Is it just not gonna happen? Oh, there it is! Hooray! I guess that means I haven't changed enough yet to really affect the bigger picture? Here we go! Doesn't matter, we've gotta move! Last time the beta broke through and moved farther into the mainland. しかし、
速やかに自室に戻り情勢の変化に対応できるように待機せよ以上だ了解ああナイス They wipe out the beta earlier than last time. That's a major change in history. My memory just gained a lot more credibility too. I'll bet. I don't know if I made the best possible call here, but at the very least, I prevented some needless casualties, and the people who did die probably aren't the same as last time around. The damage to nearby towns and the countryside shouldn't be as severe either, so things have changed for a whole lot of people, not just me. That should definitely cause some sort of difference somewhere down the line. In fact, it might not be an immediate. Immediately obvious change, but I'll bet the likelihood of humanity's ultimate demise just went down significantly. That's what I believe. I attend. Sensei! Thank you for everything you did. Hey, that's good enough for me. This is gonna change history in a major way. Not just any change in history, but one I can see with my very own eyes. Nothing else I've done so far even comes close. I've opened the doors to the future without despair. How could I not be stoked? Huh? Why are things not going all that well for you? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I see now. So, it seems like since she did, she does believe me now, right? She does believe me that. Um, you know, that what I'm telling her is the truth and not just uh, hogwash. Now she really has to work her butt off for alternative for it to actually work and not get trashed. Yeah, I see now. That's why she's not happy because like, oh, I need to do something about this now. Hmm. Well. I'm going to end the episode here, everybody, for Mob Love Alternative. We stop the beta. Stop the beta. And that is awesome. But now, things will probably change now. And I'm excited to find out what those changes are. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!